far as you know, we're going to be a, a thousand feet, right? Yep. Traffic. Two zero right, continue West Coast twenty eight. This was yet again another jam-packed week, starting off with renting a bobcat to do a little landscaping around the house to move some rocks, and also to create a new landing surface for the ninja area. This was the first time I have ever driven a bobcat and it did take a little bit getting used to, but since I have been driving my lawnmower for many, many years now and the stick controls are quite similar, um, I did have that experience, but the whole bucket and arm design and kind of controlling that along with moving the whole unit itself um, was a unique experience and one that I learned a lot from. So since we have the Bobcat rented out for one full day, I have several different projects that I have planned out so that I can use my time with it effectively. The first project was to remove all of the rocks kind of um, under the ninja area between the stepping stones that go to the house and the boulder wall. Uh, one thing that I found out quite quickly is that the Bobcat is not the most effective at scooping up rocks like this. Um, tried several takes and it would get a fair amount scooped up but um, just maneuvering in this area because it has been pretty wet was very difficult and the bobcat actually ended up sinking down into the dirt and kind of creating a mess that we had to clean up a little bit later. I really did enjoy driving the bobcat it's a super awesome machine to just move around in but I do have to say I have a newfound respect for anybody who has to operate this every day for their job because it is very challenging work. After removing most of the rocks, I moved on to the second project, which was removing a dead tree in the woods that has been leaning up against another tree. I don't know how, but it's been perfectly balanced uh, for several years now, and it's just inches away from crashing down. There's very few tools I would feel remotely comfortable using to remove a dead tree such as this and since the bobcat is fully enclosed and is like very structurally sound I felt comfortable that no matter how the tree fell um, everything was going to be alright. After moving the tree out of the way I decided to clean up the little trail that we have back there and the bobcat once again was a great tool to do this it just moved through the path with ease and was able to scoop up all of the leaves and sticks and everything and make a nice and smooth trail. I do have to say a bobcat with treads would probably do this job a little bit better because the wheels just were not getting that traction on the wet dirt, um, but since this was just one of the many projects um, around the area that I was doing and I didn't want to rip up the grass as much as a tread system would, I decided uh, wheels are just fine and it did do the job just fine. One of the final projects with the bobcat was to scoop up some of the dirt from the woods and put it in the raised garden bed and that is something I've wanted to do for a long time because that's sort of a low spot um, and when it rains a lot that can get flooded and plants generally don't like to be underwater. So I just took a couple scoop loads of this nice black dirt that is in the woods, just scooped it up from the trail area um, and then dumped it in this raised garden to be used for next year. The next day I got right to work on the new landing surface for the ninja area. Started off with a bottom layer of this uh, nice half inch rubber sort of tile system. This will be a nice base layer for the rubber mulch that will go on top of it. After the tiles got placed appropriately, I got to work on the edging to keep everything in place. And finally it was time to install the rubber mulch. Now we got 60 bags, which is one full pallet of this play surface. I only ended up using about 40 bags, and I think this is pretty good for now, but I might add the others at a later time. I raked it out all nice and even, and then got to test it out. I'm gonna have a lot of fun out here, and after that I had to catch a flight for the Huntington Beach Air Show. Steven, where are you from? Minneapolis. You are? Yep. You work with, um, with Mike, Mike all the time? Yep. Cool. So you travel with him everywhere? 
All the air shows, yep. Awesome, do you fly the planes? I'm working on my private pilot's license. Are you gonna fly the uh, C model for him? Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, the badass airplane. Am I teaching you anything? Is he doing some, some work with you? He's uh, not the flight instructor. I have a different flight instructor. Um, but Mike has taken me up for a ride, so. In the, in the, in the pits? That you see? Yep. That will teach you. Yep. I'll teach you everything you need to know about flying. Hopefully. That's one crazy What's looking up? beast, isn't it? Ever see a plane like that? The Yak 110? Yeah. I've, What's up? I've only seen pictures. It's pretty awesome. I tell on ground, Liberty 143 Alpha Lima, west side of Lima. What a cool mentor to have, it's, uh, you're really lucky. A lot of kids would, uh, yeah, love to be in your spot. This is like my dream job. For sure, right? Yep. You're doing it. How yep. old are you? 19. Awesome. What a great place to be. Yep. Are you going to uh, school for flying, or what are you doing? I'm uh, taking a gap year to work with Mike. Nice. Next year I'm planning to go to University of Tampa to study film production. Nice, that sounds fun. Are you going to make movies? Yeah. Aviation uh, films, of course. Yeah. There you go. Bring your arm and duck your head forward. We're going to shut the lid. And ground photo one flight is uh, ready to continue. Photo one flight, number two zero right taxi via Bravo Kilo. Two zero right Bravo Kilo, photo one flight. Beautiful day for it. Yeah. Photo one flight, you have time for a quick question? Go for photo one flight. Hey, what kind of aircraft is that twin in the back? That is a Yak 110, sir. Oh, first time I've seen that. So the middle engine does do something? It's a jet. Like, what? <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> That's great. 2 0 right, full length, line runway, Delta 835. And uh, photo lead down to 1,500, guys. Down we go. Smoke oh, on. Having any fun? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Guys, uh, that was looking good. Uh, we'll head back. You guys see you on the ground. All right, have fun, guys. Be safe. John Wayne Tower, photo one now, a flight of two. The Bonanza and the Ted Sim Line went to move here. Photo five, we're going to have fun. Oh, what's your knee? And photo one, flight of two zero right. Photo five, one, Rick, right traffic, we're going to have fun. And for uh, the two type aircraft? The photo one flight right traffic two zero right. It's a photo ship of a Bonanza BE three six and a Pitts S one. Thanks. Follow me, guys. After the first photo flight, it was time to jump in the flight suit for a ride in the L thirty nine. day. This was an absolutely fabulous experience and I got to wrap it all up with a small little party that the Huntington Beach Air Show put on. That was a great end to the night. Back home now and I can't wait to start next week.